Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you guys are happy, having a fantastic day. You've got a smile on your face because you deserve to be okay, guys. You deserve to be happy. So turn that frown upside down if you do have one. And phone, for the love of God, please shut the hell up. Come on, I'm trying to do a video here. <laughs> but anyway, guys, in today's video, what we're actually going to be looking at is uh, the top four items in the vault that need to come back to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime in the future and uh, yeah some of you guys may not actually agree with th these top four items but you know what if you don't feel free to comment down below tell me what you think needs to come back into Fortnite and what you are actually missing uh, so yeah that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video but before we do get into it guys please do not forget to leave a like and also check out the description below I've actually got a hundred dollar gift card giveaway going on right now and if you guys are interested in winning a hundred dollars for V-Bucks or whatever the hell you want to do with it then feel free to click that top link where it says season 5 battle pass and uh, yeah it'll give you all of the necessary information you need to know about how to actually participate into that giveaway it's very easy guys so yeah uh, but anyway without further ado let's actually get into these top four items in the vault that needs to come back to Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm going to be starting off with number one, one that I really miss and one that I really hate at the same time. This is the jetpack. Yes, I know. I think it was a little bit, it was like, it was too soon. It was too soon for them to take this baby away from us. It was, it was like giving us the ability to walk and then just taking it away. But basically, the jetpack was a pretty good weapon in my opinion. And I think that there was a bit of a confusion with Epic Games, you know, they were very angry about how people use the jetpacks because obviously they said, you know, uh, the whole fact that people use them with rocket launchers, they pretty much can kill anything. If you have a rocket launcher and you have the jetpack, you, you were set to win the game, basically. I mean, I don't know how many times I got killed to people who use that meta, but it didn't make me angry that much. Okay, a little bit, it did, but it didn't really make me that angry, and you know what, agree with me, disagree with me, guys, but I think that I, this needs to come back, but I think they need to make it where it only comes back if you're not allowed to use rocket launchers with it. Maybe, like, the rocket launchers are too big to hold with it or something like that. You know, just make it where only little, like, weapons, like a shotgun or a uh, assault rifle or something like that is available because even then we never even got that much of the close encounters game mode I mean, I don't know if you guys remember that it was a game mode with shotguns and jetpacks only and I loved it I thought it was so good and we only had around about two days of playing on that and Obviously epic games thought they need to take it away and kind of work on it So that is why the jetpack is my first top four item why I that I would love to come back to Fortnite Battle Royale I really really wish it would uh, so the next thing is actually a really weird one to be honest, but I'm gonna explain why I think this and uh, the way the item that I'm thinking about is the electric traps. Now you guys are probably gonna be, oh no, no, why would you do that? No, no, no. Well, I think that the electric traps were very interesting and I think that there's not enough traps in this game for Fortnite Battle Royale in itself. I mean, when was the last time you saw a proper trap added into the game? It's been a long time, right? Well, I feel like they actually did do the electric traps very wrong. I feel like the electric traps should actually be a trap tool that you can place on the ceiling, on the sides, on the floor, that is similar to the spike trap, but instead of actually doing damage, maybe make it where it stuns an opponent for a couple of seconds. Maybe like 20 seconds, maybe, no, actually, no, that's a bit too long. Maybe about 15 seconds. So let's say, for example, you're inside a house, you place down an electric trap, and, uh, you know, someone walks into it. Then they'll be stunned, they can't shoot, they can't move, they can't jump, they can't do anything for a couple of minutes, and then you can just kind of come around from the fridge, you know, with your burger in your hands, and just be like, hasta la vista, bitches, and just shoot them out, you know what I mean? You can do that, and I know for a fact that the one big thing about the electric traps is that the electricity actually, you know, you can hear it, and it's not good that you can hear it, but maybe they could do it where... I don't know, you can't hear it, for example. I mean, you can't hear traps, but you still look about the house and when you go inside it, so why not? Why can't we just do that with electric traps, you know? I mean, if a civilization in Fortnite can develop jetpacks, then I'm pretty sure that they can develop electric traps that don't admit the actual noise of electricity. So, uh, yeah, electric traps that stun would definitely be something interesting to add into the game. If not, maybe even replace it with, like, a glue trap where you could put glue all on the wall or something and when someone walks in, the glue trap drops on them and freezes that person in place, you know. Still, a very good kind of, uh, I don't know, I think it'd be pretty darn cool anyway. So the next thing that we're going to be moving on to is one that has actually been leaked and confirmed seemingly to come back 
in a new and different form. And this is the guided missile launcher. You guys know this, you guys probably hated it, like myself, but I do kind of miss it. I miss the rocket riding myself and everything like that. I thought it was a really fun kind of weapon to use. But it actually seems like a couple of modders went into Fortnite Battle Royale's in-game files and found out that, yes, it is actually coming back. But as a backpack, yes. You know the backpacks that are coming, like the Eye of the Storm Tracker, uh, the, uh, let's see, the Medic Backpack, everything like that. Well, it seems like the Guide Missile is actually most likely going to be a legendary or epic variant of a backpack that you can use to kind of control a missile and kill people with it. And when people went into the in-game files, they saw that the tagline of the weapon was, it's back. And yes, it kind of confirmed to us that the Guide Missile is on set to actually come back, whether it's gonna be in season five or season four, we don't know yet, but you know, Epic Games clearly have some plans to bring this back in a brand new fashion. So that's something that I look forward to in this game. I really wanna see how they've taken this item and kind of made it a little bit more fair uh, to everybody. So yeah, definitely cannot wait for that. Now the last thing that we're gonna be moving on to is the last item and it's a very confusing one actually because it was vaulted but I want to see it changed, okay? Now, this is the crossbow. Yeah, it'll be on screen right now. You guys know what it is. It was introduced first in the Valentine's Day update, and since then, a lot of people really enjoyed them. They liked the kind of, you know, uh, no scopes from across the map, all that kind of stuff. They loved that it was a silenced kind of a uh, long-range weapon, and I love them. I got a couple of kills with them. I thought it was really cool, and then they changed it to the crossbows, and then they got rid of it around about a month later, which was very, very sad for me, but... We do have leaks in the in-game files that suggest that Epic Games are actually testing out a crossbow that has an explosive attached to it. So yes, an explosive crossbow. Now, although an explosive crossbow wasn't the thing that got vaulted, the crossbow was, I would really love to see the crossbow come back with this actual additional kind of feature added onto it. I want an explosive crossbow in this game. I think it'd be really fun to play with. I feel like there would be so many awesome clips that people get with it. And honestly, I just feel like it'd be pretty darn cool, and especially, it would be easier if they actually made it where, you know, you actually had to craft the bolts of it, you know, maybe it didn't have unlimited kind of ammo like, you know, like it did in the in, in the original kind of update and everything, maybe we can make it so that when we chop down trees or something like that, you know, we could actually use a little bit of our materials to kind of consume them to create the actual bolts of the crossbow itself. I mean, personally for me, I'm 100% sure that that wouldn't work and it wouldn't be good, but you know what? It's Epic Games, they can try a lot of things and they can take things out, they can test it, they can do everything with it, and I'm pretty sure that the fan base would still be pretty happy with that. So uh, yeah, crossbows are definitely something I would love to see added back into Fortnite Battle Royale sometime in the future. Now guys, that has pretty much been it for my top four items that I would love to see unvaulted from the vault. And uh, yeah, if you agree with me on any of these, please feel free to comment down below. I obviously missed out the uh, SMGs, remember the old ones, the TAC ones? I love those weapons, but maybe with the new P90, hopefully coming soon, we won't ever need those. So yeah, I'm very excited to actually have like, yeah, the P90 in the game. That's why I didn't include it in today's video. Uh, but like I said, guys, comment down below what your top four items you'd like to see uh, unvaulted from the vault. And uh, you never know, I might actually pin it in the comment section below. So yeah, cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, have an awesome day. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay in the background. And until next time, I be Star Lord. Oh, see ya.